here is a fun case and it will allow us uh, to play uh, police detective as well. Notice we have some skin here. Notice there's abundant hair follicles here. Notice that there's dermis. Notice that there's a lot of subcutaneous fat. And around here, you can see that there's hair follicles and skin as well. It looks like in this area, perhaps the epidermis is largely ulcerated. But up here, you can see that in most cases, it's preserved. There is um, a kind of a hemorrhagic linear tract that goes through the skin and the dermis and the soft tissues. And in addition, if you look, there's a lot of blackish, sooty, smoke-like material concentrated in this linear tract. So let's say you're examining this piece of skin and the uh, district attorney was asking you, well, was this bullet fired at close range or was this bullet fired at far range, like 10, 20, 30 feet, or was this a close up uh, bullet tract? Well, you would know instantly it was a fairly close range bullet tract because the smoke and the soot and all that stuff representing the uh, uh, oxidized gunpowder uh, is present here in the subcutaneous fat and deep dermis of the skin. So this is a gunshot wound fired from close range. And uh, I think we'll quit uh, playing CSI now and get back to real medicine for a while. Thank you very much.